Hey guys, I'm Ethio for Phone Radar and this is the e-camera which I have with me. Now there's a very interesting problem with this camera. Whenever you try to set it up, you would find a new update for the camera and once you do this update, the camera would not work. Now there's a reason behind it. If you look into this uh, serial number, you would notice that this camera has a serial number which uh, has the mention of CN which is China and this is not the international variant. So you need to make sure that this uh, has to work. So for that you need to download a file, the link is given in the description and put it into your SD card and then insert the SD card onto your camera. So you will have to first insert this onto your camera with the file. But before that what you need to do is you need to first reset your camera itself. So let's boot this up. Now in order to reset your camera you need to just long press onto this back pin for a few seconds and you will notice. You will hear some kind of uh, stuff which I too don't understand since it's in Chinese. Next insert this SD card onto the camera and on your phone do make a note that you have tapped on later since you're not looking to install this software. Next tap on plus to add a camera and here it says please wait for 20 seconds which you need to wait and then tap on I heard waiting for connect. Next you need to go for uh, QR code config and here you need to enter the password for your Wi-Fi. Once you mentioned the Wi-Fi details proceed and here it says you need to position your phone towards the camera to scan the QR code. Tap on next. And you will notice that the light blinking light now turns into blue which means it's successfully done and it says connect the camera connecting to the CDN servers. It's going to take a while to set this up. Now if you notice uh, there's an error which it says this camera can only be used in China but then you would notice that your camera is now connected. Start using my E and here you would notice the camera showing up here and now you can notice that the camera is working. If you clearly look into this uh, phone you can notice that it's actually live uh, projecting what's on the camera. So let me first set this up. So you need to ensure that this has been rotated in a way that the cable comes from the bottom so that the feed is perfectly in line. So here you go and then next thing would be this is how it would look and there's a live video feed which you're looking at. So that's pretty crisp and you have different options. You have the video option, you have the option to change the resolution and everything. So here you have the option of uh, changing the quality which is from auto to HD and you also have the option of uh, changing this camera settings like you have the option of uh, checking the current software update and here you can see that it's up to date. Uh, that's the camera software and it still works. So this is how you can actually fix it. You need to insert an SD card and proceed with the same. And here also you can start recording. So you can notice that I'm actually recording what I'm seeing right now. And I can take a look at it later on. So that's a pretty interesting uh, camera here. And that's the e-camera. If you want to look, uh, take a quick look on how wide the camera is, here you go. This is uh, what you see on the camera right now and uh, that's the current live view. You can also notice the total bandwidth required till now for the current feed that's currently around 10 MB and this is what you get. You can add multiple cameras and take a look at all the multiple feeds at the same time and that would obviously be a live feed any time from any internet connection. So this is actually pretty interesting. It would create a IP camera for you and uh, you can start using it anyway. So that's an interesting uh, camera. Let me just check out one interesting feature which I was more interested into. So here you go. Let's listen to the audio. Hello. 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 So you can actually broadcast your voice through your phone to the camera. So that's an interesting uh, camera that we 
So this was the uh, demo on how you could set up the e-camera and also how you could fix the errors of uh, this camera only works in China or other errors where it's not able to configure or set up the Wi-Fi on the e-camera. So that was the video on the same. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and let me know if you have any queries around this camera. This is Amit signing off and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.